Hello, I'm Brian Nesson from How To Automotive, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean your direct injection valves on your gasoline vehicle. Uh, we're going to be using Gunk products to do that. It's super simple. Any DIYers can do it. You may have some symptoms, or you may have been told that your valves need to be cleaning. In the past, we may have to tear the engine down, but now they got new products out to help with that, and so I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing that. So come with me. So you may have been told that your vehicle needs a direct injection valve cleaning. Uh, it may have symptoms or you may have taken it in for a service and they've recommended this service. And in the past, they would recommend you tear the engine down to get to the valves and clean them. But now they have products like the Gunk GDI intake valve cleaner that you can use and do it yourself. Uh, Tool-wise, you're going to need is basically some screwdrivers, maybe a few sockets or something like that. Very, very simple. Any DIYer can do this and you can restore your gas mileage, improve your turbo performance, and so much more. You also may cure up symptoms that your vehicle may have, such as a cold start misfire. So one of the common symptoms of dirty valves is when you start the vehicle up to ice cold, uh, it'll misfire, I have a really rough idle, and then until it warms up and then it improves. So that's a symptom, one of the symptoms that you may ha be having. So you may be wanting to do this service on your vehicle. Right. Some of you may be wondering, what is a direct injection engine? So we're not gonna get too deep into the uh, mechanicals of it, but the gist of what a direct injection engine is. I'm gonna show you what a direct injection engine looks like. So on this BMW here, the injectors are right here and this is in the middle of the cylinder head so the fuel is being injected right into the combustion chamber on a standard vehicle the intakes over here and the injectors would be over here and then it would eject the fuel into the intake and it would get sucked over the valves so this one does, does not do that it does not get sucked over the valves it gets stuck sucked right basically right into the piston area and then uh, that's where it combusts. Okay, so one of the first and most important steps to do is to get your engine up to operating temperature. So we're gonna get your vehicle fired off. Uh, once you get it fired off, you wanna let it run for 10 or 15 minutes or maybe go drive it around the block. And then we wanna make sure that you got warm air coming out of your vents. Once you have warm air coming out of your vents, you know your engine is up to operating temperature. Then we'll proceed to uh, cleaning the intake valves. All right, before I jump into this video and show you how to clean the intake valves on your vehicle, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Gunk. Gunk supplied the intake valve cleaner for this video and they're helping us out with that. So thank you to Gunk. Uh, I will leave links for it down in the description of the video. That way, if you want to pick this up and try cleaning your intake valves yourself, you can do that there. See exactly where I need to attach this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the air cleaner box assembly out. So I pop the little clips off and pop the air filter out. Now I'm popping the air snorkel off here on my BMW here. It has a vent tube here that I'm going to pop off. And then this is just comes off and there's some screws back here and here that I'm going to loosen. Now that's going to give me access to the intake so I can see exactly everything I need to see to hook up to it. Now on some vehicles, hooking up to it is going to be super easy. And you may have a, an intake boot that goes directly into the engine, which is super easy to get to. This is a different vehicle here. Uh, one thing you want to be careful of is the mass airflow sensors. These sensors detect how much air flows into the engine. And if you get this chemical on or any other chemical on it, uh, you can contaminate these and give it a misreading and cause check engine lights and stuff like that. So, it, So it may be easier just to to undo a clamp like this, put the hose in there and then run it down further into the intake so it won't be sucked into the mass airflow sensor. Or you can uh, connect vacuum lines like this. If your vehicle has vacuum lines, you can take vacuum lines off like this and hook the line directly into the vacuum line that gets sucked directly down into the intake. So depending on what you're working on, it's gonna be how you hook up to it. So if your vehicle has vacuum lines like this, you may want to hook up to a vacuum line or if it has a snorkel like this you can undo the bolt and run the hose way down there and fill the neck back on and clamp it back down and cinch it up there because the gunk cleaner has a long straw thin straw that you can hook up directly in there and feed it down inside there so it makes it really easy to do this That's exactly what i did here on my engine here i hooked i unhooked a vacuum line going to the uh these uh valves here on the left and right side and you can see the vacuum comes directly off the plastic intake. So that's what you're going to look for. You're going to look for a port like this where it comes directly off the intake. Pop that off. Now I have the hose stuck directly in the tube. All right, so now that's directly in there. Now we're going to be injecting intake cleaner directly into the intake manifold, which is going to spread over the intake valves and clean those. So now Gunk makes it super easy to do this uh, one-man job. So now we have the hose that runs around. 
super long straw. Now we can sit in the vehicle, we can start the vehicle up, and we can spray the uh, cleaner and maintain a, a, a 2000 RPM uh, steady to draw the, the chemical into the intake valve and clean everything. For a short period of time, it's gonna be okay to run your vehicle without an air cleaner like I done here. If you're lucky enough where you have access to a port where you don't have to take an air cleaner or assembly or anything like that, I'll definitely do that. But in my case, this is the uh, easiest way to hook up to it. So that's what we're doing. Now that you're in the vehicle, you wanna keep the RPMs at 2000 RPMs with the engine warm. You don't want to exceed 3,500 RPMs, so you want to keep it right around 2,000 RPMs. So when you're doing this process, you never want to spray the gunk spray with the engine not running. You want to make sure the engine is running when you're spraying this. Uh, you can flood out the engine and flood out the cylinders and cause problems and maybe even damage the catalytic converter. So make sure the engine is always running when you do this. Now, to inject the uh, chemical cleaner into the intake valves, we got the... Uh, vehicle at roughly 2,000 rpms we're going to hold it there with a foot now we're going to just push the button for one second in intervals until the can is empty so you'll push it for one second you'll see the bubbles in the straw there uh, release let it let it uh, smooth out a little bit and then hit it again and you'll feel the engine stumble just a little bit while we're doing this but we'll keep doing this until this can is completely empty so this is going to take a couple minutes to do this, but you'll feel the can completely empty. And every time you spray the cleaner, you may feel the engine stumble a little bit, but that's per perfectly normal. So this also is going to uh, continue working after you do the service. So this is going to soak onto the valves and over the next couple of days, it's going to break that carbon down and then reburn it and cycle it out through the exhaust. So we just ran the entire can through the engine. Now what we're gonna do is shut the engine off and let it soak for one hour. While it's soaking for one hour, we're gonna reassemble anything that we took apart. And then we're gonna take it for a spirited test drive and uh, blow anything out that's, uh, you know, that have broken down and get all that gunk and debris out of the intake system. So the while the engine is uh, cooling down and soaking. Now I'm going to hook up my vacuum line back up and go ahead and reassemble my air box. So I'm just going to hook the pipes back up. Mine just presses onto these rubber grommets that prop onto these right here. So pretty simple. So I'm going to reassemble my air, air box assembly, let it sit for one hour, and then we're going to go for a, a test drive. Okay, so I just got back from a spirited test drive where I took the vehicle up to freeway speeds and that blows out everything out of the exhaust and cleans everything out. So I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys click on the link in the description of the video. That way you can pick up the Gunk GDI intake valve cleaner and clean the valves on your vehicle. I'm Brian S. from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to subscribe.